Hey guys, AK here. And this tip was originally supposed to be shorter, but I ended up getting carried away. And what I ended up with is something that I think people might find useful. It's super fun to take a section or a clip and make it technical by duplicating it a couple of times and applying a whole bunch of different effects to the different copies. And then taking the little parts you like from each. Allow me to suggest a workflow to make it easier on you, especially if you're the kind of person who checks a million plugins on something before listening back. So after making all your duplicates, solo the original track and make slices where you want the various cuts to be using Command E. Be sure to drag your cursor across all of the copies so you slice everything the same way. Then, go nuts with your effects on the different copies. Write automation, add things just for the hell of it. The more copies you make, and the more varied your resampling, the more glitchy goodness you'll find yourself with at the end.
I like to keep a clean, unprocessed copy at the top, but that's just a personal preference. Then, highlight everything that you obliterated and freeze it. Then flatten it. Notice how all of the slices remain intact. At this point, I like to recolor everything. Again, personal preference. I also like to make a copy of this ridiculous group of clips and put it somewhere if I want to write another sequence later. Now comes the fun part where we can reap the benefits of our hard work. Deactivate every clip with zero. Then slowly bring in one clip at a time for each division we made. If we made the divisions musically, it's really easy to hear the melody behind our original clip while getting all sorts of cool accidents from the different resampling channels. It also makes it easy to play two clips simultaneously over a section. Or to move beyond your melody by shifting some of these slices in time. So find a pattern you like, chuck this whole beast of tracks in a group, and then mix them together. My personal favorite here is to use Live's glue compressor. Remember that if you made a copy of this group elsewhere, you can drag that out into another section, re-zero, and do the whole process again pretty quickly. This is a personal favorite trick of mine. All right, that's it. Now go make music, and I hope you found this useful. Also, check out my music. <laughs>